this internet meme that takes the 80s and 90s visual aesthetic and reinvents them into a whole new musical genre, or Michael genre it's called. Since this year, Vape Rave has been becoming part of our pop culture all around in America, where more than hundreds of people are making this trend grow bigger and bigger than ever before 2020. So how did this music come to be? What's the philosophy behind it? And why do people like it so much? Well, let's go back to the very beginning. Well, not far to the beginning. It all started in 2011 with this young 19-year-old girl right here, a born Portland native by the name of Ramona Andrea Xavier, aka Macintosh Plus. She began the whole vaporwave craze with her ninth album, Flow or Shop. And when people, including the music critics, heard this, they immediately fell in love with it, began a new artistic movement to define a generation. Tons of musical artists and fashion designers started utilizing this vaporwave aesthetic so that many fans can look all hip and retro. Since these past eight years, vaporwave has blown up all over the internet where anyone can listen to and dress in it. From YouTube to Vapor95, which is so crazy how big it's gotten. I thought it was going to fade away from this year at first, and I'm so glad it didn't. We need a new trend, man. From what I've been hearing, some people have been calling Vaporwave the new grunge, and I can totally see why. It's one of those unique art forms that's changing the game for music where it brings back those good old days. Shoot, they've also been saying it's a new renaissance. Holy shit! Many scholars have been studying the philosophy of Vaporwave to state in their own words. It's an homage to the 80s and 90s pop culture where it satirizes consumerism, politics, TV advertisements, and the news. And I agree with all of that. It's basically going back to the simpler time those decades before 9-11 happened, where everyone would watch endless episodes of The Simpsons and play some N64. Vaporwave is the dawn of a new age. And you know that I'm a huge fan of this music. I can remember the very first time I listened to Vaporwave back in 2017. It transported me back to 98 and 99, and it brought a tear to my eye. Vaporwave had brought back my nostalgia. This was the music I was dreaming of to come out this decade since we never got any good music since the early 2000s. And hopefully, by the end of 2019, that everyone will love Vaporwave. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, so I'll see you till next time.